Hello, I am Najib from Algeria and in this video I want to show you how to create an uh, incidence matrix of a given petronet. So that's the incidence matrix of this uh, petronet. I, e, G. Uh, I here, this I here represents the number of transitions and G represents the number of places. Okay. This matrix is equal the matrix of the input minus the matrix of the output. I will explain what's the what's mean the matrix of the input and the matrix of the output. Okay. So uh, I E G here what's mean the input. So here for example we have three transitions. So that's mean I E G here. This matrix is. Uh, so we write we have T one, T one, T two, and T three. And the places we have P one, P two, uh, P three. Uh, excuse me and p4 okay so the input what does that mean that means that this equal for for example here the input in uh t1 okay for example here the, the input so input here is equal excuse me here this equal yes this is the output okay and that's the input so that's out and that's in okay this is the input the output what's mean for example for t1 so the output from t1 to p1 so t1 to p1 is zero because there is no output from t1 to p1 from T1 to P2, so this edge here, the weight here is 1. Uh, T1 to P3, to P, P3 is 1. And T1 to P4 is 0. Okay. The same thing for P, uh, T2. So T2 here. Uh, T2 to P1, there is no output. So this is 0 here. Uh, T2 to uh, P2, so there is this edge here, 1. Uh, T2 to P3, to this, there is no output. This is just an input here, so that's 0. Uh, T2 to P4, that's 1. The same thing for T3 here. So there is no uh, input here. There is no output here, okay? Uh, this, this... Uh, Yes, this out, this uh, transition here has not any uh, any output arc. Okay, so that's zero 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 zero. That's for the in, the output. Okay, the output from transition to a place. So let's let's see that now the input this matrix here. Let's write it here for example. We have T one, T two. And T3. So that's the input now. That's the output and that's the input. We have the transitions. We have P1, P2, P3, and P4. Okay. Now the inputs, that means here the input to T1. Okay. For example, T1, P1, I have this input from a place to transition. Okay, so that's one here. So P2 to T1, there is no input from P2 to T1. The same for thing for P3 and the same thing for P4. Uh, for this, uh, for this transition, so the input, yes, the input I have just this, so from P2 and from P3. And this is zero zero. Okay. 
for this transition, I have uh, input from P4, P3, and P1. Okay. So I have from P4, P1, and this is zero. So this matrix, the incidence matrix, equal this minus this. Okay. So this matrix is equal uh, I is equal the matrix uh, so T1 T2 T3 and we have P1 P2 P3 and P4 okay. so 0 plus 1 is 1 uh, excuse me <laughs> The output, so this minus this is equal minus one. Okay, this minus this. The output, this minus the input. Okay, one minus zero is one. Uh, one minus zero is one, and zero minus zero is zero. For this now, zero minus zero, zero. 1 minus 1, 0. Uh, 0 minus 1, minus 1. And 1 minus 0, 1. Okay. For the last, uh, for the last row here, 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 0 minus 1, minus 1. And 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Let me just confirm minus one one one. Yes, that's that's the, the incidence matrix of this. But notice here that this is uh, this cannot represent a petri net. Okay, that's not deterministic. So a petri net, a network, a given network has one and only one incidence matrix. And the uh, incidence matrix can represent many uh, networks, okay? Because that, when we specify a petri net uh, with a formal, de a formal definition, so we, so we will write the inputs and the output matrices, okay? So uh, here, what's what's mean? What's mean the the incidence matrix? Here, for example. T1, when we fire T1, we remove 1 from P1, okay? And we put 1 to P2, and we put 1 to P3. And so we don't remove or add a token in P4. The same thing for T2, this here. When we fire, so we don't remove any token from P1. From P1, oh, excuse me, here there is an error here. Because here, when we run T2, we must, so we, oh, so here, excuse me, for T2, T2, the relation between T2, when we fire T2, what we do f uh, with P2, so we remove a token and we return it back, okay, because that, We'll write zero here. Okay. The relationship between T2 and P3. We remove one token. And for P2, P4, we put a token. It's the same thing here. Because that's here that's a sync transition. Uh, this this transition has not any uh, any output. Okay. It just removes tokens. Because that's, there is no positive number. There is zero or negative numbers. In the next video, I will show you, uh, I will talk about the state equations in PetriNet. Okay. So that's it. I hope that you like this video. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel. And see you later.